This is Hydrogen Tap 1 Series 2. What you're looking at right now is the 12 inch plates. I've put in tap water that has been sitting overnight. As you can see right there, we're only running about 5 amps. And for some reason, this water is not producing any of the gunk, goop, whatever you want to call it, that was coming out before. There are a few reasons this could be, and one is that we're only producing 5 amps through the water, but as you can see, we're getting quite a lot of hydrogen coming up. The other reason that I'm looking at is that in the evaporation process, the chlorine is probably gone out of this water. And that could be part of the problem with what is produced when we run the power through it. As you can see, we're getting considerable amount of hydrogen out of this, even at 5 amps. This is the plate or plates that we have running in the new Series 2 unit. This is plain tap water, room temperature. And we're running it off a 12 volt battery no charger. You can see it's running consistently at 5 amps. In just a moment we'll turn it off and you can see or we'll be able to see that there is nothing in the water. The other possibility is that we've got a lot more water surrounding the unit, which means more water is going through it, and it has less chance of doubling up on the molecules that are there on scientific approach. See, we've turned off the power. No power going through it now, and you can see the water is almost clear. What I'm going to do next is put this in tap water that I'm just going to take out right from the faucet, and we'll try this experiment or test again to see if it is that the evaporation problem. As you can see, these are the 12 inch stainless steel the thickness is this is 0 0.018 those are the plates I'm using now there's no change in these plates. As you can see, there's nothing on the plates either. The water is clear. The other cause could be that since we're only drawing 5 amps, that problem won't arise. But I've seen this gunk or goop happen when we're drawing less than 5 amps. So right now this is a mystery. What we're going to do is replace this water. This is the water that's been aged overnight with water fresh out of the tap. There is no electrolyte in here. As you can see from this test, we're getting plenty of hydrogen out of it, even at 5 amps. 
what we've just done is replace the other water with tap water, just drawn tap water, to see if it is the evaporated chlorine, but it's looking like that's not it. We're still at 5 amps, and you can see, again, the water is not producing the problem we had before. We're using the same plates, same amp, same battery. It's looking more and more like if we put this in a larger container and allow the water to circulate through it better, that we're going to get rid of that problem we have. As you can see, the water still looks clean. We're only using about half of the plates. Right now, I have no way of putting these plates in anything larger, which I will try to find a larger container and see if by submerging the rest of the plates, we get that problem right now. The water that is circulating does not look like we're having that problem. We just disconnected the unit now. And we'll see what happens to the water. As you can see, the water seems to be clean. Which is a good thing, but we've got to find out why. The water is clearing now. You can see there is nothing in it. We've been running this at 5 amps. Same plates, same battery, 12 volts. You can see there's nothing on the plates 